Hello, I'm Victor Ma. I'm a card collector, and when I'm young, I mean uh, in 70s and 80s, I'm a toy or a radio control car collector. Yesterday, I have used a Cooper wagon to road test. I start to use two-wheel drive as a real original Porsche design, and it is really success. You cannot believe you, if you have seen the YouTube uh, YouTube, you can see how it's going. Now, I wanted to share something I experienced. Today, the radio control car, the size, scale, all wrong. For example, this is my son's uh, custom made four wheel drive, four wheel stealing, off hill buggy. And uh, this is also the four wheel off road buggy. They use 10 scale. But when you make the measurement, you can see the wheelbase, you cannot believe. And the check weight, it is 3.6 meter. Normally, the highway in Asia is maximum 2.6 meter. That means even a Hummer H1, only a 2 meter, a little bit. Hummer H1, remember. And this is 3.6 meter, so you can imagine. And uh, today I wanted to show you something. Uh, 1978 Temeya, they do the 12 scale uh, RX 311. This is really nice at that time. They call 12 scale, and in the same time they do the Lamborghini. So. Exactly the same chassis, but different body. And uh, remember, 12 scale are very small. You can see this is a, really a right size for 12 scale. Independent front suspension, double A arm, torsion bar in the middle, torsion bar in the middle, and the rear wheel drive. But at that time, what happened? The plastic is really like a display model, so very, very easy broken. Uh, any small accident, it will cause all broken. This is a reproduction model. They do the metal torsion bar. Original this car, plastic torsion bar. After put um, two year, three year, the car will like that. Lowing down to the minimum. And now they modified. But at that time, Temeya, they built the gearbox. It is a rear wheel drive, not four wheel drive, and everything are very weak. What it means very weak? I remember uh, when I charging the battery three times, the gearbox automatically broken. So the car only for show, cannot for playing. But this is the right scale. The body exactly like a display model, and the suspension, torsion bar, very weak, and the gearbox. The gear all very weak. I remember after 30 minutes, first time playing, this gear broken. And here you can see this is really a display model body. So very, very weak. But we are so happy because it is fun. A display model make a radio gear. Today, our product, what difference you can see, it is also plastic and much more detail. Here is the Cooper Wagon chassis, it is almost like a real. And all the parts in front of me, you can see how strong, how heavy duty. And why today I need to talking about the scale? Because nowadays people always tell you. Uh, my car is 10 scale, my car is 8 scale, my car is 7 scale, 6 scale, or 5 scale. But the bigger, 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 bigger to make it more stable and more easy to control, more performance. Yesterday, if you see the YouTube, my son and me both drive Cooper Wagon. He used four wheel drive to climb up to the 1 to 1 scale, my Willis MB Jeep. And then I used two wheel drive to climb up the Willis Jeep 2 and then 
our scale are really a right right size i can tell you nearly 100 percent right size why here is a willis and a cooper wagon tie you can see what the difference original willis chip tie size is 6.0016 and the cooper wagon is 5.2516 so it is just a little bit narrow and a little bit smaller but that you compare the two car model, they are exactly like the real. So, all difference. Why I need to talking about the scale? Because if you play with a scale not in sand, it is not fair to off-road. Just like if you use yesterday 10 scale, play with today's 10 scale. Sure, this will win and uh, more stable. This is why we will try to develop our own vehicle series, like uh, this one later, much, much more other historic 4x4. Now, I try to show you a most famous Temeya uh, Bucky at the 80s. I believe everybody, if he is over 50, like me, he will know this is how beautiful 10 scale Tameya Bucky. This is a Volkswagen Bucky, looks like exactly the same. The front suspension like the rear. And the rear suspension is a little bit different because original Volkswagen not use a single A-arm. But anyway, when we are young, this is the most famous car. And uh, you can see they are both 10 scale. So how terrible. The three car they tell you are in same scale. Now I try to put it back and I will show you another one. Another one is the Japan Marui, a very low price model. It is I remember it is in 80 something like 82. 83 or 82. Marui built this very very low price maybe only 20 US dollar at that time in Hong Kong only 140 something but sure you need to buy the radio control and the battery yourself it only give you a car this is a Golden Eagle G CJ7 they also call 10 scale but we already believe it is not in 10 scale because the wheel is out of the body a lot but you can compare today's radio control gear Big, big, big difference, right? Nearly double or more than double. Now I put the CJ7 back and I try to show you another Japan made Hiromo 44B. This 44B already not in scale. It is the first success four wheel drive before your Kumo or um, Temeya four-wheel drive. This car, you can see, it uses a Lancia body and a 10 scale too. It already has super wide check to make it more good handling. But uh, compared to today's 10 scale, it is still very small. But uh, we already call this is not in real scale. I remember when I'm young, I modify, use this chassis to four-wheel drive, four-wheel steering. I use the agricultural body and I try to make it narrow. What we are doing is we use a special aluminum CNC wheel to make the offset go inside, the tie go inside. Sure, the handling not like this one, but looks more nice. Now I put back this Hirobo 44B. I try to show you one very interesting model, maybe not many people know, the world's first 10, uh, 12 scale four wheel drive. This is really nice. In 1976, Japan, one manufacturer, they tried to do a nice scale radio control four wheel drive model. And what they think is, they want to build 
a Lamborghini prototype, but no success. But uh, you can see the tie, the wheel, the suspension also copy the Lamborghini four wheel drive. And uh, the four wheel drive system are very interesting. You can see the motor in the middle and uh, you can changing the gear manually and uh, you can see the four wheel drive system use the bell and a very big differential built in front and rear. This is uh, incredible at that time because uh, no radio control vehicle with differential system and the radio control car without differential system they are not easy to control at high speed also not good for driving and then later if we have time if you are interested i can show you much much more history about the radio control model